Hi everyone, this is Dimitri Pergamotic with MarketChameleon.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you could use a tool to gain insights on a particular stock's open interest and how that open interest is distributed amongst different expirations and strikes. We're going to use SPY in this example. And on the left hand side, we see under options, we're going to select activity in this menu. And then I'm going to close it just to expand the screen. And we're going to land on this page where it gives us the option breakdown for SPY. When we could scroll down and here we see that we get a, a table with data that's associated with different expirations for SPY. So here under expiration, these are the currently the different expirations available, option expirations that are available in SPY. And what we're going to do is come down here where there where we look at the volume and then the open interest and under this open interest column we have we have the open interest count associated with the corresponding option expiration and if you scan down you could quickly see where there is a lot of open interest on a relative basis to other expirations and if you look at a particular one of interest, let's say this one here on August 18th, there is 3.9 million contracts open in that expiration. And if we click on it, it will display us two graphs. On the left-hand side, we get a distribution of open interest by strike. So these are the different strikes and you could see here that these bars represent the open interest in the calls and the puts stacked on top of each other. The call contracts are in yellow, the put contracts are in blue, and you could see which strikes on a relative basis have more open interest. Um, so this one that I'm hovering over right now, we could see that on the 430 strike, there are 122,000 puts and 82,000 calls open on that one strike alone. And then if we come over to the right hand side, this shows us how the open interest change from day to day historically. And here we see that um, as we move forward in time, the open interest steadily increase a lot more open interest in the puts than the calls. And this is a quick way to get some insights in the open interest from a top level and allows you to potentially spot something that is either sticks out or a large concentration of open interest or a big change. And then you could take that information and go dig deeper into your analysis. So hopefully everyone, this was helpful and hope to see you guys in the next video.